I'm Eddie Rosenstein. I'm a filmmaker and I'm a sand hog. Oh, Eddie Rosenstein? <laughs> He's a sand hog like us. He's a, a brother, you know what I mean? Eddie Rosenstein is the best Jewish sand hog in New York City. Far enough. This is the hardest film I've ever made. This is the hardest series you could imagine. The Sandhawks didn't want me to make this film or this series. They're very suspicious and they're, they're underground, literally. They really didn't want the exposure and were mostly concerned that it could just be bad. Rosenstein comes to me. Don't know him about him. And he said, I'm Eddie Rosenstein. I'm a documentary filmmaker. Boop, 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 boop. And, uh, you know, I want to do a, uh, a documentary on the Sandhawks. Yeah, another guy. So. <clears throat> I sent them to the Department of Environmental Protection. And at times, that can be a real deep bureaucracy. Chickie kept sending me to the city. The city kept sending me back to the Sandhogs. And everybody kept saying, no, you can't do this. And the more people kept saying no to me, just uh, the more I got interested in, there must be something really great down there. They sent him back about six months later, asking the union if we could help this guy. I said, oh my god, this guy's good. He's more than persistent. He's really good. And I started hanging around hog houses, meeting with sand hogs, and one thing led to another. So he keeps coming down to the hog house. I was the hog house man down there. So one day I said, all right, let's go. Let's talk about this. So I took him to a bar, and I figured, well, you know, he'd have a half a dozen drinks, and he'd make a fool of himself, and I'd dismiss him. And uh, we had many more than a half a dozen, and he was still sitting there with me. And then eventually the Santa said, well, I don't know how to get rid of this guy, so go down and shape. See if you can get a day's work. We put you down there in the tunnel, and we put you to work with one of my Irish foremen, and he's going to beat the crap out of you. Stay out of the way. Stay the f*** out of the way. First time I met Eddie Rosenstein, he come up on my job, and I just figured it was just some guy with a home video camera. He's coming down there, so I said, well, let him down the shaft, you know. And every Santa remembers his first day. You go down in a 600 foot hole and you've entered another world. And you know immediately when you enter that world if you love it or if you hate it. And I loved it. After about three weeks, Morgan Curran says to me, he says, Chicky, you know that guy you sent down? I says, Jerry, yeah. he says, if you get any more guys like that, send them to me. And I said, oh, sh I'm finished now. I couldn't lose them in the bureaucracy. I couldn't out drink them. And now Morgan Curran is speaking for me. And he worked with me quite a few shifts, you know? And he is a Santa, and he's part of the brotherhood. And I think just the more people just saw me on a muck stick, carrying my own weight, you know, never stopped working, that uh, eventually everybody realized, oh, you know, maybe he's not just an airy fairy filmmaker, you know, from outside trying to exploit what we do. All the films I've ever made are sort of tributes to people who do their best under circumstances that are difficult or adverse. And uh, you know, Sandhogs um, just captured my imagination because they're guys who bust their butts, you know, work harder than you could ever imagine. And the only glory in it is the paycheck and the camaraderie. And uh, those are heroes for me.